1, 2, 3, 4. Welcome to Get Healthy with Dr. Cooper. Discover the secrets to amazing health and longevity. Learn how lifestyle medicine, the vaccine for chronic diseases, can profoundly influence mind and body. Learn simple solutions such as healthy nutrition, exercise, strong family bonding, stress management, and spiritual renewal will empower you to live a longer, healthier, and more abundant life. And now, here's Dr. Donna Cooper. Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Get Health with Dr. Cooper. This program is designed to empower you to live a happy and healthy life. As you know, I always have information to share with you so you could use that information to change your lifestyle. Today I have a very interesting topic and that is how do you diabetes proof your children? I know that many of you probably are tired of hearing about diabetes but really diabetes is a real problem. Diabetes as you know many of us of you probably know that diabetes can affect the entire body. One of the leading causes of blindness, heart disease, kidney failure, and so many different things. But the sad news is that there's so many people nowadays, young children that are now being diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. And type 2 diabetes really is a lifestyle diabetes. Type 2 diabetes is a lifestyle disease, a disease that can be prevented or even reversed using a healthier lifestyle. So today, I have a group of people that you will be meeting later on that will give you secrets of how you can diabetes-proof your children. So let's talk a little bit about what I want you to do. I want you to like the page, I'd like you to, I'd like you to make comments, and I'd like you to share because the information is vital. So I want you to share, share, share. Go ahead and share, share, share. Now, the person that shares the most or has the most comment, I will probably give a free online cooking course. So like, 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 share, share, share. And you're not going to regret it. Now we're live on Facebook, on YouTube, on Periscope, and on Twitter. So. We are all over the, the space. So then I want you to like and share because we have a lot of information for you today. You're going to meet many people that's going to lead you on to what you need to do to diabetes proof your children. You know, I have three children and believe me, <clears throat> it's difficult at times to get them on the right path. And that is why I'm here to help you to end the year well with your family by encouraging the children, by training the children, by modeling to the children what they need to do to preserve good weight and have good health. So remember to like the page, make comments, ask questions, and share. And those of you that have done the most activity interaction, you are going to be able to join my free online cooking class that's coming up on November 18th through December 16th. 
What a way to end the year by learning how to cook and cook healthy so you can walk with your children and your family to a happy and healthy life. I'm going to take a break and we're going to start right now with our show, Get Healthy with Dr. Cooper. My name is Dr. Cooper Dockery and our topic today is Diabetes Proof Your Children. How do you do that? I'll see you right now. <music> Hello, are you sick and tired of medications? Have you been going to your doctor, but yet you're doing just about the same? My name is Dr. Cooper Dockery. I have been practicing medicine for over 27 years. I have had the privilege and the joy to assist many patients to lower their medication, get off medication, reverse their diabetes, improve their hypertension, or the cholesterol, I'd like to do the same for you. I have several online courses. Why don't you click the link be below, go to my website, and sign up for one of my courses today. I can assure you, you have nothing to lose but some extra pounds. You will be happier and happier and live happier for many years. So click the link below, go to my website, and sign up now. All right, we're good. So in our show today, you're going to meet David. David was a teacher for many years, but he decided to get away from the classroom and to teach the world. So he wrote a book on diabetes. Why are children dying from diabetes? What should they eat? How should they exercise? I read the book and I really fell in love with the book. You're going to do the same. And I have some parents here on the show. Welcome, guys. You're going to have fun today because this is a simple, simple show. And the important thing is to educate. So we have some parents here. And we're going to talk a little bit about how we can keep our children healthy so they could live forever. Do you think they could live forever? Maybe so. All right. So, Chef Edgar, hey, I doctor. want to welcome you again. Our audience know you very well. You're always here with us, right? It's, it's, it's a lot of fun being here. And uh, as you know, as everybody knows at home, I love this health message, and now that we're talking about our children, it's very, very important. Right, because you're a parent, right? Exactly. How old is your son? He's 10 months, so... And he's quite active, right? Very much active. Excellent. And you want to see him live until he's 100, no? Uh, a little longer than I, <laughs> I, I will live, so yes. There you go, Edgar. Tell me, why do you think children are eating so unhealthily? What's going on there? Uh, the reason why that I believe uh, we as, as parents are at fault as well. Mm -hmm. We make it very easy for them to eat this unhealthy food. Mm -hmm. uh, we go through the drive through to the fast food, uh, a lot of sugars, a lot of salt, and we make it very convenient for our children to eat these kinds of foods. That's right. So you said a lot of sugar. Exactly. Do you know that today the average American consume 141 pounds of sugar per year? Wow. Can you see what that is? 141 pounds? That's, that's, that's astounding. And fat. We consume 87 pounds of fat a year. Do you see why we have diabetes? Yeah. Yes. That is the reason we're having diabetes. It's actually our diet. Now, I know that sometimes parents don't have the time to cook, but this is a problem. Tell me, Rosalinda, what are some of the other reasons why you think our children are consuming these fast foods and these foods that are filled with fats and sugar? I believe um, because, you know, we live in such a fast-paced life where mm -hmm. both parents are working and we pick up from fast food all the time. Unfortunately, we're not, we're in such a rush that we're not paying attention to what we're feeding our kids. That's right. McDonald's. Um, fast foods. Fast foods. In foods. general. In general. Right. It's not good. And we are no longer cooking at home. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. a major problem. We don't have time. We get out of work light. We run for practice. Take our kids out. And you know what? We pick up this or that. And I believe that is causing our kids to gain weight. We're uh, constantly... Um, 
not exercising because we are so attracted to our iPhones, yeah. our iPads, mm -hmm. you know, that is causing our children not to exercise and I think that's what it is. Yeah, let's go Part back the to the food because studies have shown that 80% okay. of our problems, well, 80% of the disease causing uh, problems really is assigned to the food we consume. Someone said we are actually what we eat, and that is a problem. Now, I think as parents, we should have healthy foods at home. We have to change our pantry. If the children have chips at home and fried this and fried that, what's gonna happen? They're gonna reach out to what is at home. What do you think, Lillian, about what we're you know, consuming and the kids are consuming? What are your thoughts? I think it's because, um, in addition to what they said, um, a lot of um, a lot of these kids, um, they're you know they see what we the adults been doing in our lives, and we are the big influence to them. Regardless, they're living with parents or any adult, you know what they see, what they have at home, and then what they see in the television, the magazine, wherever you know, it's a big um, influence to them. That I, to them, it's cool to be having this and. It is better than what you have at home. And also, I believe that we, the parents, the adults, we should set a good example to them. No matter how busy we are, we should educate ourselves how we should prepare nutritious food. Better role models, right? Yes. And <laughs> actually, it's not expensive. If no. We know where to get it, and then we cook it, how we cook them. A lot of food, like potato, they are good, but we make them into a complicated one to be like uh, unhealthy ones. Exactly. You fry them, but mm -hmm. we know how to prepare them. And mm -hmm. then, you know, these kids... They are so um, they are so observant. They are so smart. Mm -hmm. If you teach them about the the benefit of um, eating healthier food and how to prepare them, explaining to them why we have to do it this way, and these kids gonna pick up that becomes their habit. That's right. Yes. You mentioned role model. I'm gonna give you a story. So a young man walked into my office one day and he said to me, "Hey, Dr. Cooper, I lost 35 pounds." I said. How did you do that? He said, Dr. Cooper, I took up one of your Get Healthy magazine and that's where it began. And then my three-year-old daughter is asking for kale smoothie. Can you imagine that? So we have to model, correct? We have to make sure we have the right food on the table, correct? We need to make sure that we have her salads, green leafy vegetables, on the table, we have to consume that for the children to learn that, hey, this is healthy, so I need to consume it as well. But if we're taking them to the restaurant and we're ordering the deep fried foods and the, the dessert with a lot of sugar, then what are they gonna eat? Come on guys, come on, what are they gonna eat? They're gonna do the same thing we're doing. We're gonna be right back with more on Get Health with Dr. Cooper and how to save our children from diabetes. Right, so welcome back. I want to take the time to welcome some of my friends that have joined. Let's see who we have here. All right, Glenville from the Cayman Island. Welcome, give my love to your family. Mary Jolly, you're always with us. Thank you. Anna, Teresa Clark, welcome. I want to welcome Monica Gonzalez. Leroy Hogg, my cousin from England. I've missed you a couple of weeks, but welcome, Leroy. I know it's night there. Pauline, the same thing. Welcome again. Maria Salinas, welcome, welcome, welcome. Lorena, Lorena, my um, PA, she's online here. Welcome, 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 everybody. Let's see. I have um, Eduardo, though. I want to welcome you. My, my daughter, Donnell, she just loved the show the live audience. Thank you so much, guys. Please like and share. It's a very important topic. How do we diabetes proof our children? And of course, you're listening to parents. How are these parents doing at home and what do they have to tell you? You've listened to me all the time and if you're joining us, you're watching Get Health with Dr. Cooper. Um, we're here every Sunday evening at 6. Sometimes we're not here, but I will inform you when we're not here. Next week, I'm gonna be in New York. I'm gonna see how, what I'm gonna be doing to keep you posted. 
and to keep you entertained. But the show today is quite interesting. I'd like you to join us. Share, like, and comment. Remember, whoever shares the most, whoever comments the most, will be able to attend my online cooking school for free. That's four classes. So like and share the page. Be, let's be interactive. We want to save our kids from diabetes. So we're discussing how to diabetes proof your children. We're going to take a short break and I'll be right, right back. Hello everyone. We're so excited to invite you to a special event coming up on October 12th. Where yes. will this be? This is going to be at the West Local uh, Seventh-day Adventist Church. It's at 1200 South Bridge Avenue. It's a prophecy of hope, but it's more than just that. You have to take advantage of all this that will be coming up. Right, so it's prophecy at ho of hope at the West Laco Seventh-day Adventist Church. But you might be wondering, so why are you guys involved? You know, we know that ultimate health and healing comes from God. So it's a combination of prophecy and medicine. Yes, it is. Because we know that we have to use medicine and food to heal our bodies. And from that, we can learn more about God. So what we're going to have, we're going to have on Mondays, we're going to have right there at the church, cooking classes. Yes, we are. Starting at 5.30, we'll have cooking classes just for you. So you have to get there early because spaces are very limited. That's right. It's going to be a healthy cooking class so you can stay healthy for life. And then on Tuesdays, we will be having health talks. We're going to involve some of the local doctors. So it's going to be myself and some other doctors giving these health talks. And then Thursday, it is exciting. Guess what? It is very, because we're having the whole Cooper Warner's crew coming to the church because we'll have free screenings just for you. That's right. Screenings for what? So we're going to be screening for diabetes, for high blood pressure, for high cholesterol, and for obesity. Not only that, Edgar, we're going to be seeing patients there. Yes, we are. So we're going to be seeing you for free. So if you don't have a doctor and you don't know if you're sick or not, then you need to write this down. It starts October 12th. We're going to be there Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Sunday. Yes. So you need to see us there. And I want to see everyone in the Rio Grande Valley there, Edgar. So again, the address is 1200 South Bridge Avenue in Westlaco, Texas. Once again, that's 1200 South Bridge Avenue, Westlaco, Texas. And if you want the number, is 956-463-6827. Call to reserve your spot because, again, spaces are limited and this is open to everybody. That's right. Starting October 12th, the meetings will start at 7 p.m., but the health lecture, the cooking classes, and the screening will start at about 5.30. Yes. And it will be bilingual. So if you don't speak English, please come. Yes, uh, bilingual, uh, so everybody must be there. It's open to all the public here in the Rio Grande Valley. So we want to see you there. You've seen us on Facebook, you've seen us on TV. Now we want to meet you. So see you there, October 12th, bye-bye. <laughs> Hello everyone, I am so excited to bring to you today a young man who has changed his profession just to save our kids. You all know that chronic diseases, diabetes, heart disease, kidney failure is now causing so much problem with even the young children. David Norick, a teacher, now an author, has decided to take control and he has written a brand new book, which he's gonna tell you about. David, welcome to Get Health with Dr. Cooper. Dr. Cooper, good to see you. Thank How you for having you? me. Yes, welcome. How are you doing today? I'm doing very well, thank you. David, you told me that you were a teacher. Yes, ma'am. And now you have given that all up because you want to save our kids. Yes, it's uh, very important to, especially with obesity and diabetes, to start at the foundation, which is with our children, and change their mindset, educate them, and hopefully, uh, they don't have to go through the same things that 
that we've had to go through or our parents or our siblings as well. Alrighty. First, tell me about yourself, David. Where did you teach? What did you teach? Um, I taught mainly elementary or junior high. Mm -hmm. um, I've taught at, uh, in McAllen and Sherryland. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, throughout the years, teaching different kids, they come in and, and it was shocking to see that some kids or an alarming rate of them had weight problems and some even came in with diabetes. Right. And, it, and it's, a very, it's very sad to see them have to go through something like that at such a young age. That's right. Mm -hmm. I agree with you. Living in South Texas, it's a problem because we are the number one in terms of areas for obesity. And with obesity comes diabetes. Yes, so now you have given up teaching in the classroom and you want to teach worldwide, am I right? Yes, ma'am. With that, now that's your new book. Tell me, what is the title of the book? The title of the book is The Adventures of Exo and Psy, and it's a play on the word exercise. Because as children or even adults read the book, they, they get an actual exercise workout from reading the book. I saw that. I just, <laughs> I was amazed. I said, this guy's smart. <laughs> I love how you integrated exercise in your book. That's fantastic. Thank you. But you also told me that most of your family members are diabetic. Am That's I correct. right? That's correct. Um, everyone, including myself, I, I, in fact, was diagnosed with diabetes after I finished writing the book. Um, and in 2013, I lost my brother to oh. diabetes. How old was your brother? My brother was, I believe, 60. Okay. And then the following year, I lost my sister as well to diabetes. Sorry about that. Yes, ma'am. And uh, I've seen my, some, uh, one of my sisters go through dialysis, mm -hmm. amputations, and, mm -hmm. and gone blind because of diabetes and because we don't take care of ourselves. That's so right. it's, it's a very important topic to myself, my family, and to everybody here in the Rio Grande Valley. And the world now. The, and the world, yes. The show yes. goes worldwide. Yes, and the world. So we want to reach the worldwide platform because diabetes is not only a problem in the United States, but it's a problem just about every place. Obesity too is a problem everywhere. Tell yes. us a little bit about your book. I was reading about um, fast food, the way you played on fast food, the way you worked in the exercise. Mm -hmm. Tell us what the readers are gonna see in the book well what the readers are going to see is in this book specifically the the main villain his name is chip mm -hmm. and his dog nacho mm -hmm. so this book this first book is combating the harmful effects of potato chips right and all throughout the city you see that obesity um in fact the mayor of well, the, the, the children live in the city called OB City, which stands for obesity. Mm -hmm. And the mayor of OB City, her name is Diane Beatties, which stands for diabetes. diabetes. Mm -hmm. So everywhere along the city, you see traces of unhealthy, either unhealthy foods or restaurants or things like that. Things that children and adults need to combat, um, especially with diabetes. That's right. I love that. And then... Um the who was the good man in the book there because you had the the bad man with the chips and yes. the nacho yes right but the good man in the book tell me who tell us um, about that the the real good guy in the book his name is chief will ness which stands for wellness mm -hmm. and you know at the very end of, of the series this is going to be a series of books mm -hmm. at the very end he is actually going to take over mm -hmm. he's going to defeat mayor diane Beatties, mm -hmm. and he's going to turn obesity into a, a healthy city I like it should be. That. I love that. Tell our audience, what do you hope to get out of this book? I hope that children of all ages, that includes adults, I hope that people not just here in the Rio Grande Valley, not just here in the state of Texas, not just in the United States, but around the world, because this is a global problem. My hope is that everybody reading this book can get to the root of the problem because we can't, if we have weeds in our gardens, we can't just chop, chop them off at the, at the very top. We got to go to the root. And in this case, we have to educate our children, mm -hmm. prevent them from diseases such as diabetes and, and do everything we can to get them living a healthy lifestyle. Very good. David, I want to thank you so much for coming to the show. I want to thank you so much for dedicating your life now to teaching our parents, our teachers, and our children that healthy lifestyle is the way to go.
Yes. Diabetes, high blood pressure, heart disease, these are lifestyle diseases. And if we can get to the root causes, which is our diet, the lack of exercise, then we will be able to decrease the incidence of all these diseases. We're going to be right back, so don't go away. David, thank you so much for coming Thank you here. so much for having me. That's right. Guys, what do you guys think about David? What a brave teacher. Gave up his job to write a book. The book is really interesting. So I want to promote his book. I want you guys to go and get the book. If you're not parents, give it to someone else. If you're a teacher, buy the book and read the book and give the book to someone as a gift. Um, Mary Jolly, she has been commenting a lot. Mary's saying that children learn from their parents. She also says that you know, the food industry put all these unhealthy food on the, on the shelves. And then big pharma, those pharmaceutical companies, are here to fix us. But we need to fix ourselves. And we as parents need to fix our, um, our children. And that is the reason why we're discussing today, how do you diabetes proof your children? Let me take the time to welcome Elizabeth. Elizabeth, our office manager here. She's watching, she said, great topic, she loves it. Carleen Hodges from the Cayman Islands, welcome. My sister, Rosemary Redway, welcome. Welcome to all of you. I cannot see all the names, but guys, I want you to like and share the page because I really believe that this topic is essential. It's a very sim simple topic. You might think it's simple. However, diabetes, as Mary Jolly said, is the leading cause of renal failure that lead people to dialysis. And today we want to give you simple remedies, simple secrets that you tend to overlook so you can prevent your children from getting obese and then getting diabetes, heart disease, or kidney failure, and so many other complications. Obesity can also lead to so many different cancers. So if you change lifestyle, start modeling healthy eating habits at home, start exercising, you're going to see the difference in your children. I am going to go right over to the show because I have some parents who are excited to give you information on how you can diabetes proof your children. Let's go over to the show then. Why is there so much pain, despair, and hopelessness in the world we live in today? Who can I trust? The answers can be found in the Bible. Explore Prophecy, October 12th through November 3rd. Join Pastor Raja Maslamani as he delivers this powerful and timely message. Our Day in Bible Prophecy. Doors open 7 p.m. Friday, October 12th. A wonderful occasion to bring the entire family out to explore prophecy, October 12th through November 3rd. While you're here, enjoy these free life-changing events provided by Dr. Cooper and her team at Cooper Internal Medicine. Free healthy cooking classes, followed by a full dinner with the doctor Mondays at 5.30 p.m. On Thursdays at 5.30 p.m., celebrate amazing health with free health screenings and visit with the doctor. Free blood testing for diabetes, high cholesterol, and kidney disease. And at 7 p.m., rally up the family and participate in the free health lectures about reversing and prevention of diabetes, hypertension, and heart disease. Learn how to read food labels and know the dangers of food additives. And you'll learn how to boost your immune system and protect yourself from cancer, plus much more. Explore Prophecy, October 12th through November 3rd. Bring the entire family out. Free healthy cooking classes, followed by a full dinner with a doctor Mondays at 5.30 p.m. Thursdays at 5.30 p.m. Celebrate amazing health with free health screenings and visit with the doctor. Free blood testing for diabetes, high cholesterol, and kidney disease. It's October 12th, Friday at 7 p.m. Save the date and time you'll want to attend. Explore Prophecy. West Laco, Seventh-day Adventist Church, 1200 South Bridge Avenue, West Laco, Texas. For Pastor Raja Masalana needs information. Contact him at 
Welcome back to Get Health with Dr. Cooper. Today we're discussing saving our children from diabetes. And you've listened to the book on diabetes with David Norick. The book is going to be out pretty soon. And I have a group of parents here telling us how we can get our kids to exercise and to eat healthy and to live forever, right? So studies have shown that in the United States, 75% of the population do not exercise. And we all know that for a healthy lifestyle, we do need to combine healthy nutrition, but exercise is also medicine. So I have a teacher here, Roxy. You have a child, Roxy. How old is your baby? 10 months. 10 months. Do you get this child moving or he's always sitting down? No, he's very active. Excellent. Yes. That is important <laughs> because we know that for us to decrease obesity, and decrease the risk for diabetes. Exercise yes. is good. So tell me, how do you think you're going to get your child to exercise? And how do you get your students to move? I think encouraging them to be more active, maybe encouraging them to play a sport. And also, it has to do a lot with the parents. And I would like to tell you or share a story with you. Go ahead, Roxy. Uh, we had a student in our school that would not like to go to PE, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, she told the parent, the parent would complain and complain about it. So they sat her down for that year. And then the following year, the parent came back and told us that the daughter was, oh, had diabetes. Imagine that. Yeah. So I think, uh, encouraging your, your child or to pushing move. It to move has to do a lot with it. Great story. Um, Roxy, I love that story. We do know that exercise will decrease the blood sugar how does that happen when someone exercises the muscle needs energy the muscle therefore going to use the sugar for energy and therefore if the muscle is using the sugar what do you think going to happen to the sugar come on guys it's going to go down exercise also increase the sensitivity of the insulin so insulin becomes more powerful and therefore will take more sugar from the blood into the cells. So that's how we can actually use exercise as medicine. That's a very uh, sad story. Lorena, you have two boys and you're a healthcare provider. Yes, I do. All right. <laughs> how do you plan to help them to stay healthy? So um, I try to bring them outside. I try to play with them. There's a lot of games also on Pinterest that they tell you, you know, things to do to play with them. Uh, to learn also and just to play outside even if they're just running back and forth they have fun with it which is good for them and healthy for them right uh, like dr cooper said you know you want to stay active anything you eat is going to increase your sugars but when, the more that you're exercising the more that you're active mm -hmm. that's going to bring the sugars down which helps prevent diseases that's so right it's very important i agree lorena and studies have also shown that the children that are more active they tend to perform better academically. Yes. So exercise will improve the intelligence. So exercise is very vital for us to, to encourage the children to exercise so they can be healthier, but also for them to do better in school. Don't you agree? Exactly. All righty. So go ahead, Lorena. And I should bring that up, Exer exercising. I always tell my patients that actually increases your happy proteins. So you act by exercising, it actually can decrease your risk of getting depression, anxiety. So the more that you exercise, you're also helping yourself in that sense as well. Beautiful. So, beautiful. Exercise increases your endorphin level. Endorphin is the happy hormone. And therefore, it will decrease the decreases the incidence of uh, depression and loneliness and sadness. Exercise is important. Now in our day, in our day, we can see that a lot of children with a screen in front of them. Studies have shown that the children will spend poof, more than 11 hours a day in front of a screen. What are the screens? Television. What else? The phone. Cell iPad. phone, the iPhone and all of that. We have to encourage the children to get away from the screen. And before the show, Chef Edgar gave a story about uh, exercise, how we can um, have the kids doing more exercise. You mentioned about um, moving them from the screen. As parents, we need to make sure that they have screen time. 
So if we're going to say, all right, they're going to watch television from 7 to 8 only, then we're going to go outside and we're going to do a game. That's another way of encouraging the children to exercise. Chef, you had a story. Yeah, there's this, uh, this network that had an amazing idea. Mm -hmm. From a certain time to a certain time, they would shut their channel down. And it would say, we'll see you back once you're done playing, which allowed the child to not see cartoons. But you know what? There's no cartoons. The only option was to go outside and play. Uh, we see a lot of sports now that have Play 60 that encourages kids to play for 60 minutes, mm -hmm. at least for 60 minutes a day. And I think as parents, we should pick that up. Many mm -hmm. times we say, well, it's because they're bored. They want to see cartoons. Well, let's, uh, let's play with them. We too could use the exercise. I agree. I love that story. That's why I asked the chef to bring it forward. So you can do the same thing, parents. And you parents here in the studio today, make sure that you limit the exposure to television. The kids will come home from school and they sit there for four hours. That is unhealthy. So let's limit their uh, screen time so they can exercise. I think it's time for a break. Don't you agree? We're going to take a short break and we'll be right back. Thank you guys for watching. I see that Mary Jolly is commenting a lot. Mary's a nurse and she's assisted me here. Mary's talking about exercise. Mary, for the children, they need to exercise about an hour a day. They can do 30 minutes in the morning, 30 in the afternoon. How does exercise then decreases the risk of obesity and diabetes? You know, the muscles, the cells of the muscle need to use glucose for energy. So when the, when the person exercises, what happens is that there, there's a need for the, the cells to use the insulin. So then, sorry, to use the sugar. So then the insulin takes the sugar from the, the blood to the cells and that will lower the sugar. Now, Mary, you mentioned about nutrition. And you mentioned the Bible, Genesis 129, where the original diet was fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds. We can actually heal ourselves using that diet. So everyone, we need to make sure and ensure that our kids are eating the right food. You listen to Roxy's story, that young child in school who didn't want to exercise. And the parents, what did the parents do? The parents encourage the child to sit. As a result, we're, well, we cannot say as a result, but the fact that the kid did not exercise increased the risk for her to express diabetes. So parents, I want to tell you that if you want to keep your children living long, you need to ensure that they're consuming the right foods, right amount, the right time, and that they're moving. Let me take the time to welcome some people that, that have just joined. I see Curtis Brooks, welcome Curtis. Martha Prince, welcome. I want to welcome Anna Yancey, Deborah Taylor. I want to welcome all of you that are joining us. We're discussing how you can diabetes proof your children. And believe me, you can diabetes proof yourself using these same principles. Now I have lots of resources for you. My book, 14 Days to Amazing Health, has an entire program here. I have information on diabetes and chronic diseases. I have food that you can consume to decrease the blood sugar, to decrease weight. I do also have an exercise program for any level, whether you're basic, whether you're intermediate, or whether you're advanced. This book, is a program in a book and it's not very costly. So I'm asking you, if you really want to diabetes proof your life or your children's life, get the book. Also, we're gonna be having our online cooking school. If you don't know how to cook healthy, then this is a way to learn how to cook healthy. Let me see if there's anybody else joining Pastor Roger, welcome. I want to welcome all of you. Pastor Vincent from Africa, welcome as well. 
You're watching how to diabetes proof your children, how to diabetes proof yourself, how to diabetes proof your family. And I have a group of parents on with me today and I'm gonna take a break so we can go to these parents after these short messages. Hey everybody, how y'all doing? This is Chef Edgar uh, talking to you here. Uh, I want to ask you a question. Have you been looking at our shows and you probably think that the cooking shows are a little bit complicated? Well, I got a solution to that problem. We are launching our online cooking classes just for you. It's going to be very simple. It's going to be detailed. It's going to be virtual. And it's going to be one-on-one. -on -one. We're going to be talking to you straight to you live, wherever you are, at your home, in the state, out of the country, wherever you are. We'll be talking to you live cooking with you live as well and you have to sign up now the link is below click sign up register and again this is going to be an amazing experience you cannot miss out we are going to give you the ingredients step by steps how to do it prepare it just like a chef present it and plate it like a chef would at a restaurant and this is going to change your life you're going to be cooking at your own home at your own pace step by step guided by me. Also, there's gonna be Dr. Cooper is gonna be telling you why this food is nutritious just for your health. Again, sign up for our classes. We'll be starting very soon. All right, welcome back. You are watching Get Health with Dr. Cooper, and we are here discussing how we can save our kids from diabetes. We discuss on healthy uh, lifestyles such as diet, fast food, and lack of exercise. Now we're going to go to something a little easier. How can we help you as parents to keep your children healthy? Now we do know that the number one risk factor for, for diseases is the food you consume, chef. How would you advise our audience to increase healthy food in their children's diet? Uh, as a Spanish, we have to incorporate more fruits and veggies. Uh, there's a million ways to do veggies. There's a million ways to do fruits. We have to incorporate that into our children. Why? Because as everybody says, you are what you eat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and you have to uh, put good food in your system. Mm -hmm. Food is fuel, like I've said before, and we don't wanna put cheap food in our system because then we're gonna feel like that. And we don't want our children to feel like that as well. We as adults have felt it before when we eat uh, unhealthy foods, our children are gonna feel it 10 times worse. Right. Uh, so what can we do? Incorporate more fruits, have the snacks for our children, be fruits and vegetables. I like that. Mm -hmm. I like that. And I would also suggest a lot of children do not like vegetables. So I suggest that we can do a green smoothie in the morning. Then we know we're dumping in a lot of vegetables. Another thing, we can do soups, vegetable soups, and encourage them to consume that. And of course, our salad should be on the table. And as I mentioned earlier on, we as parents need to consume the salads as well, and then they will walk in our footsteps. So parents and parents out there, remember you need to model a healthy lifestyle and your children will do the same. We have a healthcare provider here. She has two boys, but she also has a lot of patients in her practice. Lorena, with this unhealthy lifestyle, what are you seeing in your practice? Do you see a lot of young people with diabetes? Yes, uh, unfortunately we do. Um, and it's unfortunate, like I said, uh, one of the risk factors that we're seeing is that, like you said, the patients are living an, an unhealthy lifestyle with eating habits, but also their exercise. They're not exercising. So with uh, them uh, increasing in their weight, that unfortunately can give rise to them getting high cholesterol. They could also get blood pressure from there, from their diabetes. Unfortunately, with diabetes, as we all know, or some of you might not, uh, it can affect the vision, it can affect the heart, mm -hmm. your liver, your kidneys, the kidneys you the circulation, in dialysis, mm -hmm. you know, just the sensation that you have, that can be affected by diabetes. Uh, not only that, but 
you know, we're seeing that the young individuals, if they're if they're unfortunately increasing in their weight levels, they can be bullied at school. Mm -hmm. From there, they can get depression, anxiety, mm -hmm. um, even suicidal thoughts. Unfortunately, yeah. that we're seeing a lot of nowadays. Great point. Very good point, Lorena, because we tend to um, emphasize only the diabetes and the heart disease, but we never usually emphasize the psychological effect that the obesity can have on the patient. Even the diabetes, because some kids who have type 1, they have to use insulin. And that is a problem with them at school and with their friends. So parents, remember that type 2 diabetes is a diabetes of lifestyle. Type 2 diabetes can be prevented or reversed using healthier lifestyle. Last week in my office, I had a young lady coming in. She was like 32 years old. She came to me on a stretcher. She had no limbs. She was blind. Can you imagine that? What type of life that person is going to live, quality of life? So if you're listening to me right now, you're listening to us and you are a parent, remember that you are actually what you eat. Your health is in your hands. You can take control of your health. Don't depend on the primary care doctors and your providers. That is the reason why we have this program to empower you to live a healthier lifestyle. You need to take control so that you can prevent diabetes, obesity, cancer, and all of these diseases. I Welcome back. You are watching Get Health with Dr. Cooper, and we're discussing how you can diabetes-proof your life, your children's life, and your family life. We know that diabetes is very, 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 what should I say? It's a disease that no one wants to have, but you can prevent it. You can cure it with lifestyle modification. You've listened to all the parents, um, that I've been speaking on the show, I'm going to recap some of the information they gave you. In order to diabetes proof your children, you need to be a role model. You need to model health at home. They need to see you eating healthily, exercising, managing your stress, and they will follow you. You need to make sure that you have healthy meals available at home, healthy snacks. You need to cook at home, prepare your meals. Home-cooked meals, usually, these are more healthy. They have less fat and usually less sugar, less salt. They are healthier for your family. You need to encourage your children to go outside and move to exercise. You need to encourage them to drink water and not drink in their calories. Just one large milkshake could be 600 calories. That's a lot of calories added and that can increase the risk of obesity and diabetes. Fruits and vegetables should be central at your mealtime on your table because fruits and vegetables are lower in calories and lower in fats and lower in sugar. So this will protect your children from obesity and diabetes. Portion size, a lot of us tend to overeat. So we need to teach our children what is the correct portion size? And then we should make sure that they don't overeat. And Edgar suggested giving fruits as healthy snack. So you have learned much. Now, I know that sometimes it's difficult to get them to eat healthy. And I have a very healthy cheese recipe that I want you to look at. Copy the recipe down. Use that for your dip. Use that for your mac and cheese. Use it for a spread. And that's going to help your children to stay healthier. Let's go then to this simple cheese recipe. Welcome back to Get Health with Dr. Cooper. You are in the kitchen segment with Chef Edgar. Welcome. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the kitchen segment. So what do we have today, Chef? Today we are going to be making cheese. Cheese? Cheese. Are you sure? I am positively sure we're going to be making some cheese. All right, but without the cholesterol. Right? Without the cholesterol, without the calories, healthy, delicious good. cheese. Good, and good for your blood vessels. So, yep. go ahead, Chef. So, we come over here, we have our blender ready to go. 
we add our water in first so everything everything can move around nicely and we're gonna add our cashews natural cashews high in protein. protein and that's the base for our cheese it really is we have some garlic powder onion powder these are great for your immune system remember that salt very little salt lemon juice lemon fantastic with vitamin c some pimientos pimientos and that's made from red bell pepper red bell pepper which will give us our color for our cheese yes and a lot of vitamin a and antioxidant we have some cornstarch that's going to help us get thick as we go and we have some nutritional yeast and that is wonderful source for our b vitamins especially b12 rich in our vitamin so we're going to turn our blender start off slow and then all right very good chef so it's a nice you're probably at home saying that does not look like cheese chef you Wait, tricked us well now we're going to add it into our pot here and you're going to cook this for how long, chef? This will go for 10 to 15 minutes with a continuous stir. stir. Yes. And why do we have to stir it continuously? So it doesn't stick to the bottom of our pan. And as soon as you keep on stirring it, you increase the heat a little bit, you'll see it'll start getting thicker, thicker. and thicker. Yes. Right. So you keep it cooked until it's thick enough, yes. looking like a cheese sauce. It smells like cheese already. It looks good. It looks like cheese. And I know it tastes good too. Yes, it does. Yes, you know, it does. There are a lot of kids who do not like their vegetables. So we use this as a wonderful vegetable spread. Oh, yes. So here's the way we're going to use this spread here. Very delicious. Look at the finished product. It looks like cheese. It is thick. It looks like cheese and it tastes like cheese. Now, for those of you who like to have macaroni and cheese, oh, yes. this is wonderful. But remember, you need to use the whole grain oh, yeah. macaroni. Higher in fiber and higher in protein. And we are in South Texas. Oh. Wow. So those of you who like nachos. Nachos. That is a nachos cheese sauce. And yes, this is, is delicious. Yes, it is. It's, it's got that nice hint because of the bell peppers. That's right. Beautiful color yeah. and beautiful flavor too. The garlic and the onion. And the, everything. And everything and comes the together. flakes. The yes. Yeast. Those flakes, once you smell them, you're going to be it smells cheddar like and now it's starting to give us that texture and all that nice smell that the cheese comes with very good so remember we, we discuss peripheral vascular disease and one of the risk factors is high cholesterol you don't want to have cholesterol so then yeah. this is a great substitute this is the best substitute what do we taste i want to taste this thing chef Let's this see. is my favorite part of the kitchen mm, delicious now for more recipe Go to our website, cooperwellnesscenter.com, and follow us on Facebook. We'll see you again soon. Great, guys. This is delicious. Mary, nutritional yeast gives the vitamin B complex um, supplement, especially vitamin B12. It is really delicious. Deborah, it's amazing. Try it at home. Pauline from England, it is really, really delicious. Try it at home and you are not going to eat cheese from milk anymore. Really, really good. So I want to welcome Hasiel. Hasiel, you're always watching us. Welcome. Um, I want to welcome Diamond. I cannot pronounce your name. Welcome. Welcome my cousin Norma from, Eng from uh, New York. Welcome. Pastor Raja from the Westlaco Seventh-day Adventist Church will be having a prophecy series that will begin this Friday. So I want to welcome all of you from the Rio Grande Valley. I know you from uh, outside of the valley will not be able to attend, but we might be live streaming some of these programs because I will be there with my team to give free health education, free cooking classes, as well as free health screening. We'll be checking for diabetes, we'll be checking for cholesterol, we'll be checking BMIs, and you will have visit with the doctor. So if you're acutely ill, you'll have medical providers there to, to evaluate and to treat. 
So like, share, and let everyone know about this free prophecy series with healthcare added to that. All right, let's see. I thank you, Curtis, for putting information on my book. The book is 14 Days to Amazing Health. This is a program in a book. The book is very inexpensive, about 20-something uh, dollars. And this will change your life forever. In the book, I have over 117 health, healthy recipes. Very delicious, low fat, low carb, that will help you to attain healthier weight. I have an exercise program there, whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced, you can see the program and follow it through. So I want you to go online, pick up a copy of this book, share it with somebody else. So like and share the page, guys. You know, we talk about exercise as medicine. A lot of children will sit down, as we said in the program, 11 hours before a screen. Why don't we work together as a family and go outside and exercise? I have a very simple exercise that you can do with your family outside. I'm going to put it on, and I want you to look and practice. Welcome back to Get Health with Dr. Cooper. We are in our Living Active segment. You might be wondering, why do I emphasize exercise so much? But did you know that inactivity is the next smoking? Researchers uh, believe that sitting for five hours or more continuously is equivalent in health as smoking a pack of cigarettes a day. So if you're sitting, we have something for you, and I have Ramsey. Ramsey, what do we have today? Welcome, welcome. Uh, today we're having an agility workout. It's just going to be um, something simple, something you can do at the park, on, at the, in the back of your house, something very uh, unique and simple. Here we have Cynthia that's going to introduce this exercise. Come over here, Cynthia. Let's get it going. Here, what we're going to start off with is an A skip. Just coming up, knee coming up, toes, stand your toes when you do this one. Go ahead and go all the way down. There you go. Nice. Come all the way up. Notice how her elbows come back, knees driving forward. And she does it again. Bring it back the same way. Bring it back the same way. There you go. Notice how those elbows come back, knee comes straight up. Straight up. So the next one that we have, that we would like to do it a good four times, down and back. Ten yards is what we're using right now. If you could add a little bit more, that'd be perfect, but just work with what you got. The next one is going to be the B skip. B skip is going to be like if you're, same thing as the A skip, but now you're kicking down the door. Kicking down the door. Stay on your toes, same thing. Go ahead and give it a shot. Good job. Good job. There you go. Simple. 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 This really does activate the core, bringing the knee up to the body, kicking down the door, stretches out the hamstring and the glute. Really gets a good warm up of the body. There you go. Next, we, again, we're going to want to do that again three to four times. Try to get everything warmed up. Um, before you do this, please try to stretch. We don't want nobody pulling your muscles or anything like that. So be cautious. The third one we're going to do is sidestep. We're going to stay low. Come all the way to the side. We want to leave your, sh your shoulders, uh, the distance between there, between your legs, a shoulder width apart. Just come all the way through, all the way through. Come stay low, stay low, and work all the way down. Come on, Cynthia, try it out. Bam. Notice how she stays low, hands are up, butts, butts low, hips are low. There you go. Work it all the way down, all the way down. Almost there. Right now, she's keeping her feet a little bit closer. Try to open them up, Cynthia. Sh shoulder width, shoulder width. There you go. Now coming back, same thing. Coming back, same thing. There you go. This is really going to burn the side of the quads, the glutes, just the whole core in general. You, you stay in low, uh, uncommon position, so try to stay active while you do this so you don't cool down the body. Last, what we're going to do is going to be three sprints, 50%, 75, and 100. So what I want you to do, give me your good 50%. Down and back, and we'll come back and do the 75. There you go, take off. Nice and slow, nice and smooth. Just a good, good warm up to get used to the movement so we don't pull anything right away. Okay, going back, 75%. Now pick it up a little bit more, pick it up a little bit more. There you go. Bring those knees high. Focus on bringing those knees high when you drive forward and those elbows back. There you go. Boom. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now this is where we want to crank up the speed. Now we're going to go the full 100. Take off, take off, take off. 
There you go. One more. Try to try to get over there. Turn around smoothly so we don't have nobody falling back forward. Go. There you go. Good job. Good job. So these little things we can do at home with everybody. Um, doesn't matter the age. Doesn't matter the health. Uh, doesn't matter if they can move or they cannot move. Just try to do these things uh, a good 30 minutes a day. You'll see some definite improvement in the agility in the cardiovascular area, and uh, we'll get everything going. That's our segment, Dr. Cooper. Well, thank you so much, Ramsey. You know, what I like about this is that everyone at home can do it. You're running, you're jogging, you're doing everything. So parents, get your children outside, you, your husband, or your uh, partner, and move. Remember, if you really want to live a long and healthy life, you must move, you must exercise. Don't go away, we'll be right back. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed that exercise routine. That was fun. Children nowadays living here in the United States and other places do not go outside. But you see that we can all go outside, have fun, move around, increase the endorphin level, decrease the depression, anxiety, and also decrease the risk of obesity and diabetes. So let's take the children out to have fun and you will be diabetes-proofing diabetes your children's life. All right, Mary, Mary, we have been talking a lot, Mary. I like what you're saying here. Deborah, get the book, 14 Days to Amazing Health. If you're just joining us, you're watching Get Health with Dr. Cooper, and we're discussing how to diabetes-proof your children. I want to promote my book. I have three books on the market, but this one, 14 Days to Amazing Health, you can get on Amazon or on my website. The book has valuable information on different chronic diseases. I have 14 Days Lifestyle Meal Plan here. I have over 100 healthy vegan recipes and, of course, exercise program. You can buy this book and you can really change your healthier destiny for life. So don't forget to get this book and go online and see all the resources that I have for you to live a happier and healthier life. Now I want to tell you about an upcoming event this weekend. I'll be in New York. We'll put the flyer up for you to see. I'll be there Saturday and Sunday. Saturday evening we're gonna be having health lectures from various healthcare providers. We'll discuss about cancer. October is the Cancer Prevention Month. So if you're a female, if you're a mother, if you have sisters, brothers, wife or girlfriend, you need to listen up because cancer is something that we no one wants to have. But there are things you can do to prevent the cancer. So I'll be in New York. If you want to come by, come by and listen to all of the healthcare providers, what we have to say to empower you to live healthier. If you're in the Rio Grande Valley, remember that this Friday, October 12th, I will be at the West Loco Seventh-day Adventist Church where we're going to have a Bible seminar with Pastor Raja, and then I will be doing health lectures, screening, Cooking classes, I'll have a team with me. You'll have different doctors, you'll have nurses, you'll have dietitians. We want to empower you to live healthier. If you're away from the Rio Grande Valley, then I have online courses, and I want to promote my online cooking school, which will begin on November 18th through December 16th. Let me see if there's anyone else I'm going to be welcoming. Donnell is still there. My sister, Lillian, thank you so much for watching. Um, we're going to also put up a video promoting the upcoming event at the West Laco Seventh-day Adventist Church. So don't go away. We'll be right back. Why is there so much pain, despair, and hopelessness in the world we live in today? Who can I trust? The answers can be found in the Bible. 
Explore Prophecy, October 12th through November 3rd. Join Pastor Raja Maslamani as he delivers this powerful and timely message. Our Day in Bible Prophecy. Doors open 7 p.m. Friday, October 12th. A wonderful occasion to bring the entire family out to explore prophecy, October 12th through November 3rd. While you're here, enjoy these free life-changing events provided by Dr. Cooper and her team at Cooper Internal Medicine. Free healthy cooking classes, followed by a full dinner with the doctor Mondays at 5.30 p.m. On Thursdays at 5.30 p.m., celebrate amazing health with free health screenings and visit with the doctor. Free blood testing for diabetes, high cholesterol, and kidney disease. And at 7 p.m., rally up the family and participate in the free health lectures about reversing and prevention of diabetes, hypertension, and heart disease. Learn how to read food labels and know the dangers of food additives. And you'll learn how to boost your immune system and protect yourself from cancer, plus much more. Explore Prophecy, October 12th through November 3rd. Bring the entire family out. Free healthy cooking classes, followed by a full dinner with the doctor Mondays at 5.30 p.m. Thursdays at 5.30 p.m. Celebrate amazing health with free health screens and visit with the doctor. Free blood testing for diabetes, high cholesterol, and kidney disease. It's October 12th, Friday at 7 p.m. Save the date and time you'll want to attend. Explore Prophecy. West Laco Seventh-day Adventist Church, 1200 South Bridge Avenue, West Laco, Texas. For Pastor Raja Masalana needs information, contact him at 956-463-6827. Well, guys, it has been a pleasure being with you for an entire one hour. I want to ensure that my efforts will not be in vain. I want to ensure that you're listening and that you're practicing and that you're sharing. Please share the page. Please like the page. Please ask your families, your friends, your churches to join us because I really enjoy seeing changes. I have been practicing for over 27 years and I've never seen any of my patients essentially reverse their diabetes on medication. I have seen them reverse their diabetes on healthy nutrition and exercise and stress management. The other day I had a gentleman who came in with diabetes and obesity. He entered our 14 days of lifestyle challenge. And guess what? At this point, he has lost so much weight. He's just doing so well. So I want to do that for you wherever you are in the world. I want to ensure that you realize that you do not have to die on a whole bag of medications. You can actually decrease your medication. You can reverse some of these diseases. You can improve your diseases and take less medication just practicing healthy lifestyle, healthy nutrition, exercise, spiritual renewal, stress management. I have all of that in this book, 14 Days to Amazing Health. Go to my website or go to Amazon and pick up your copy right now. And if you're living outside of the United States, remember my online cooking program coming up? November 18th. Sign up. It's not expensive. You can learn how to cook healthy and improve your health and the health of your family forever just with $195. The cooking school will be interactive. It will be live. We'll be cooking together. You'll be cooking at home. We'll be cooking here. You will get health um, lectures as we're cooking so you can know why you're consuming what we have there in the, the recipe, it's going to be a blast. Share this, like the page, and I want to see you soon. Until then, may God continue to bless you and your family as we walk together to amazing health and longevity. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. This broadcast was sponsored by Cooper Wellness Center and Faithful Path International Ministries. 
For more information on how to become a patient or a sponsor, please contact us at 1-844-343-8935 or visit our website www.cooperwellnesscenter.com.